everybody, this is your keto chef Rob. Today we're making a mushroom soup. I was actually taught the low carb variant of this recipe, which is what we're gonna be doing today. There's gonna to be some few, a few modifications and the order of the ingredients matter a lot. Now, as you can see from the title of this video, it is a Hungarian style mushroom soup. And that means it's gonna have paprika. Paprika is what the country is known for as far as spices go. And this soup, it turns out delicious, a little bit spicy, definitely get that nice warm feeling. And it's perfect if you're quarantined and especially if you're in a cold area, you're gonna love this soup. So I'm really excited to show you how to do it. Without further ado, let's do this. Okay, so being a mushroom soup, you would think that mushrooms are gonna be where you wanna spend your money on this. Wrong, just use whatever chestnut brown mushrooms that you can find, cheapest at the store. This isn't the time to get like shiitakes or chanterelles and morels, just these regular brown ones work. I also found some beautiful oyster mushrooms and they weren't too bad at the store. I happen to love oyster mushrooms, so I'm gonna throw them in there. And all in all, I'm gonna use a pound. Now it sounds like a lot, but they're gonna cook down and they're gonna lose a lot of water. We're gonna get a pan going on a high heat over here on the side while we start cutting up our materials and we're gonna use a high heat um, oil. Grapeseed oil works great. Ghee works really good too. And um, I think avocado oil is also pretty good. While that pan is getting really hot on the side, we're gonna start breaking down our other ingredients. Now we're gonna wait to add our garlic and we're gonna wait to add our onion. Now we're gonna get that garlic, just a few cloves of it, kind of just chopped up and uh, pushed over to the side of the cutting board here. We're just gonna give the mushrooms a quick run through with the knife. We're doing like a rough chop. We don't need anything too precise. This is a rustic soup, so the knife cuts really don't matter here. What matters is that we get that nice brown color on some of these mushrooms. And you can see the brown bits at the bottom. Now, that tells me that it's almost done, probably getting ready to deglaze right now, but not quite there yet. So we're gonna break down our onion on the side here. So instead of sauteing our onions with the mushrooms, because of course that would caramelize the onions, we are going to let the soup itself cook it. Now, the reason why we're not doing caramelized onions is because when you caramelize onions, it makes it a little bit easier to break down your body. And there's also some people that say that caramelized onions spike your blood sugar. So we are going to add the onions in at the end once the stock warms up to cook inside the soup. Now, you can see all the brown bits at the bottom of this pan. This is perfect, it's ready to deglaze. So we're gonna add some stock in at this point. And the stock is going to kind of loosen up all the flavor that's stuck to the bottom of the pan there. And we're gonna use a rubber spatula to make sure we scrape it all up and get everything off the bottom of that pan. At this point, we're gonna add our onions and we're gonna add our garlic. Okay, now we're gonna add our salt and pepper and always aim low with this because we can always add more salt and pepper at the end. Coming up on a really important ingredient here, we're using dry dill. Now, I like to use as much dry dill as paprika in this recipe, or if it's too expensive at the store, just go ahead and buy the sweet paprika. Now don't worry, it's not like sugar added to it. It's just sweet relative to a smoked Spanish style paprika. Now, if it is a Spanish smoked paprika, you're gonna end up with a really smoky soup. I would go for, if you can find it, Hungarian style paprika or imported straight from Hungary. Let it sit on the stove for a while, absorb those ingredients, and then at the end, if you decide that it needs more salt or paprika or dill, you can go ahead and add it in at the end, no problem. Now we have one more ingredient to add, and this ingredient is taking the place of what's called a roux, which is butter and flour. And because we're low carb here on this channel, we're gonna be using a scoop of sour cream, but pay attention, do not add it hot. If you add it hot to the soup, the fat is gonna to rise to the top of the soup and the milk solids are gonna uh, fall to the bottom or be spread out throughout it. That's called splitting the soup. We don't wanna do that, so you wanna add it at about 120 degrees, I would say, at the most. Um, pretty much if the pot is warm to the touch, but you can keep your hands on it, it's totally fine to add the fat to the soup. No steam, definitely wanna wait for the steam to leave the pot. Use a thermometer or use your hands to make sure before you add the sour cream. Go ahead and get a little creative with the soup, guys. Use a different stock. There's a million things you can do with this. I wanna know what you did and if it turned out really well or an epic fail, I still would love to hear about it. 
put it down in the comment section below. For me, I'm garnishing with just a little bit of dill, another scoop of that sour cream, and of course some paprika to give it some color. As always guys, keep it keto, stay healthy, peace.